which brings me to the New York Rangers and the decision to go after Tarasenko instead of Pat Kane. What do you make of that? How, how many minutes were between the two decisions? <laughs> how many seconds were between the two decisions? Right. How did it come about that, that Doug Armstrong made that deal before Kyle Davidson did? I, I'd really like to know the, how the <laughs> clock worked right there because, I mean, it appears as if uh, the Blues deal got slid in like an Andy Murray pre-scout night piece of paper underneath your door at the hotel room. <laughs> Whoop. You know what the key was that, though? The difference maker? Mikola? Yes, absolutely. Mikola, Mikola. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there could have been a prospect. You know, maybe there was an, an A-plus prospect that, that was wanted on the other side of Chicago. You drag your feet for one second, yeah. you know? And then, and you know, and then you get an excited Tarasenko as well. I mean, with, with Panarin, you know, truly being a good friend. Yes. And uh, with Shesterkin and, you know, I mean, that doesn't make it all perfect, but it is yeah. probably nice for he and his wife and his kids and his family to know that, that Panarin was there. And, by the, you know, the neat thing is, too, is, I mean, Kane and, and Tarasenko, they can't just go to any team. Like, they're left-hand shots that play the right side. Right. You don't stick them on the, on the left side because all your rights are, 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 are filled up. Like, you don't – the Toronto Maple Leafs, as an example, if they needed a left winger – you, you can't. You don't think Kane's Vlad, a fit? Vladdy's not, not, Vladdy doesn't play yeah. left wing, and I'm Patrick doesn't play left wing. It's just it, a. It's you interesting know. you say that because just before that, I was going to say, am I fair to uh, describe Tarasenko as a complicated uh, teammate or player? Like I've never been in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never been in. I've never been in the room with him. You right. know, so uh, but I, he, all I know is he turned. You know what he, he at the most important time. I think that with the team they had in 19 and the change in coaches from, from Mike Yo to, to, to Chief, and Chief had the rear, and he played hard. Yeah. And otherwise, they don't win. You know, so right. w- what's happened after that, um, the, uh, I mean, let's face it, you go back in history, it's not easy to go t- through the timeline and say, you know, he has to be traded. But, you know, and then his agent made, at that time, I, I, he came out very bold and put down a lot of people. You know, that are train the training staff, the yeah. doctors. I mean, yeah, that's a hearty blow. And then somehow everybody puts it behind them and, and they still worked hard that next year. And they still, you know, they've still been a competitive team. This is yeah. the first year that they've fallen off. They had 109 points last year. Yeah. So complicated, um, maybe demanding, maybe um, um, sometimes if things aren't perfect, I did notice Pickle. on the ice. Pickle's that, a good word. Well, it, that, that, Changes or shifts, I'll call them um, length of shifts, yeah. could get short, you know. And, and Really? And That's funny because a lot of guys stay out they there. They want to be go, longer. Right. Well, some guys what, like, what I found, it, you know, and I, I have found this with a few guys as well, uh, you know, high-end guys that think the game a different way. You know, he's a very intelligent person. He's a very yeah. demanding person. He came from his, his dad was an extremely high-end coach in Russia and is, you know, so I am, you know, going through it. If, if, if you ask him a question, it better be a good question. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't go with the fluff. He thinks of what you're asking. So he's, I've got to know him very, very well. And, and I know when I ask him a dumb question. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can see it, yeah, yeah. you know, and, or the answer that I get. I know that the question wasn't good enough for the answer. So in saying all that, yeah, he's a, he's a demanding guy. And he's, there's been some fickle moments, I'm sure, that have, have led to all of this. And I know it's a very small sample size, but uh, you mentioned uh, the relationship with Panarin. They're off to a good start. He, he will be probably on his best behavior because you know he's that he wants for a, new deal. a new contract well, and you mentioned like yeah, didn't he didn't get that offer that maybe he was expect or not expecting but hoping for yes you know in, in st louis and and so yeah now i mean he's on broadway yeah anybody surprised that he scored in the first game not me well, i would have, I would have bet a, what I, I would have bet my mirror golf clubs on that <laughs> <laughs> all, all 15 sets of them <laughs> 